the spotters for all the news of Bournemouth.ie. The sound is perfect, you'll be fine. Mighty. That there is the new album from the Saw Doctors. It's called Taking the Train, The Further Adventures of the Saw Doctors. It's your first album in five years, guys. Jeez, that took us a while, didn't it? Yeah, so where the hell have you been? Well, it took us a while to settle down, you see. Right. Yeah, we've been changing personnel and we've had new people coming in. And We're so in Australia and Switzerland yeah. and Norway and up in the north of Scotland, out in the islands and highlands. And we're in Germany and oh, we're God, in... He'll never stop. Yeah, he'll never stop. Boston, Boston. Oh, we're in Castle Bear. <laughs> when I posted on boards.ie that I was going to be interviewing is getting us to perform a song uh, from the new album and possibly an old one, which is did for us, uh, Red Cortina, I was quite surprised by the reactions of our members. So we've got 300,000 members in Ireland. And a lot of them are city folk and a lot of them are, culti- are, are country folk. Culture folk and... The culties love you, and the city folk don't. Yeah, they're not quite sure, you see. Yeah. And how does that sit with you? Like, one of the comments that I read, a very, very good comment was the fact that you didn't move to Dublin and, as I quoted, lick the arse of the Dublin journalists to get known by the Dublin media. You stayed true to yourselves and went the hard graft way in the UK and US instead. Well, I think the killer thing is that I think the Dublin people like us anyway. Oh, yeah. But I love Damien Dempsey, so... Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like... I mean, it mightn't be cool to admit to that now, but... <laughs> How sick are you of I Used to Love Her? As a song. I wouldn't think we're as sick as a lot of other people are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. what we did was, we, we did with I Used to Love Her, we, we stopped playing it for a while just to give it a bit of a breather, and just right. and then we re, reinvented it, and it just kind of... I mean, you can't argue with I Used to Love Her, it, it kind of... It's one of my favourite songs. Yeah, well, and I mean... Lyrically like, and, and musically brilliant. Yeah, you know, it, it's a bit sort of... People are look at it and think, oh, you know, it's whatever. But if they actually listen to the song, it's a really good pop song. Yeah, um, my colleague yeah. Dad told me that 20 years ago he learned it for his Halloween party piece. There you go. Right. And he could still play it if he had a Well, for that it. moment alone, it was more <laughs> than if you, if you took any young songwriter today yep. and who hasn't had a song known by anybody yet and you gave them that card, would you like a song in 20 years' time? That people might be a bit sick of. I think you play that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think you would. Yeah. Um, question: Why have your singles over the last ten years received little or no airplay here in Ireland? And do you think that you've been pigeonholed as some kind of novelty joke band from the West that aren't cool enough for the mainstream media? We don't know. We had a, a number one single with about you now. The, set, the next single was. Uh, she Loves Me was number two, and neither of them could make the playlist of the pop stations. And you can't sustain a, a chart position without that, so I don't know the answer to question A. Right. And, and um, I think, uh, well, I, I don't know. We've had a lot of songs down to the years that people wouldn't have known. You know, they would have been on albums, and they wouldn't have... Because, as you said, like, you kind of seen as a bit novelty and that, but it's not really novelty. Yeah. If, the, if, well, you, if you look a bit deeper, it's not really novelty. But I love the fact that you described as some sort of novelty band and yet you're the second most successful band from Ireland there you after are. you too. Yeah. The, the problem is we actually like to have fun and we like to present ourselves as having fun. But it's difficult for people to perceive you as being, having a dual kind of a, a, a dual attitude to music, whereas we have no problem with that. We have the stuff that we enjoy and have to crack with, and we have the very serious stuff as well. So we we don't have a problem with that, but it's it's hard in people's perception to think that people do both. That's uh, yeah. true, very true. Do you ever get tired of kind of playing the smaller venues, or is that kind of is that what you actually love doing more than anything? God, it's great. Some of them just, like every event, like. There are some venues that you play in and you think, oh God, this is awful tonight, you know, or whatever. But there are some venues that are tiny mm-hmm. or huge or whatever, and you love them. It's like, size doesn't matter. What? Do you... <laughs> God. <laughs> I'd say nothing. But tell me, do you get a different reaction in the UK, US, oh, oh. Australia? 
for it? Like, is Ireland where you get your best reaction? No, not at all. Not really? No. Wow. <laughs> so where do you get your best reaction? You never know where you get great reactions, but it very often it's further away from home than you expect. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Any surprising ones? Any memorable ones that you kind of went, wow, did not expect that? Well, uh, we played in Tasmania there in March. Right. We played a very small venue, but the enthusiasm in the room was... Norway amazing. as well. We were yeah. in Norway in Oslo. That was great enthusiasm. Yeah, um, you'd be surprised. Like, Irish people, uh, they're a very discerning audience, but sometimes they kind of take it for granted. They're more likely to arrive late than other audiences. <laughs> they're more likely to stay for the one and say, oh, the, the lads won't start at 10 o'clock. That's all, just to annoy them, I always do the N17 and I just yeah. go for the start. Right. And that's it. Well, at the end of the gig, they're up saying, You left the N17? What can't you come in at? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the new album, Taking the Train. Taking the Train is um, it, it's the oldest song and the newest song we have. Avian kind of started writing the story. Like, right. And myself and Davey had the chorus from about 40 years ago. <laughs> so, we, as we often do, we merge the two of them together. Yeah. I was only you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> but that it, it's just one of those things we jigsaw a lot of songs in together and, and just kinda mess around with different bits and pieces. I know you're gonna say every song is brilliant, but any songs you're particularly proud of on this album? Any songs you'd really love to see doing really well? Well I like myself I like Goodbye Again because I think that was a great that was the start of the whole thing really, wasn't it? Do you remember we started yeah, that album? And it's great to see it recorded. I'm glad it made that album. I'm just really. I mean, it wouldn't be my like. I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite song because I love all the songs off the album. But I just like to see that making it. Okay. This is our first album that we've made that I can sit down and listen to pleasurably. So soon after it's been recorded. Would you? Are you, are you picky? Would you pick out mistakes and stuff well, that you've done? Yeah, of course. But I can't pick many in this one now. Very, very good. Yeah, uh, it's. We just feel we've polished it properly. It's like as if you had to polish someone's car and. It's great to have um, they go out and inspect it, and there isn't a spot that's not polished. It's great to have Philip Tennant back on board with us again. Right. He's, he's a class act himself now, and, and uh, Adam Whitaker, he's yeah. our engineer as well. They're two great. They like they're. That's the reason the music is there as well, you know. There. Plus, there's at least three songs on that album that we recorded fully, first the first once, you know, first time, then listened to it and said, no, it's it's good, but it's it's not as good as it needs to be. Yeah, and it's. When you go into a studio on a Monday morning and you say, um, we actually have to start again on that song, it's, it's quite a daunting it's, 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 a, it's a serious thing for people to take on, but we all took it on because we wanted it to be this good. And we're happy now that it is this good. Brilliant. And we did, sorry, we did no. leave it, we did leave about five or six off as well. Oh really? And, and there was a few of them that you would go, oh God, why'd you leave that off, you know yourself. But yeah. like, that's the way it is, you know. It's, so... Boards.ie is a website where loads of people express their opinion about things and no doubt there will be opinions expressed about your album as there is about gigs that people have been to that have been brilliant and all that kind of stuff. Do you guys read the stuff that's written about you online or do you mind the fact that people will put up YouTube videos of your live concerts and stuff like that? Uh, I read a lot of stuff. Yeah. I like criticism. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I concur with the criticism. I like when it's constructive though rather yeah. than yeah. destructive, do you know, yeah. if you know what I mean. Like, absolutely. No, absolutely. I don't like, like it. oh that's that's crap or whatever, yeah. and then nothing to follow up, you know. You know, sometimes I sometimes I'd be thinking there's ways we could improve what we do. Yeah, oh yeah. And if somebody points that out, I say, well, fair, that's very dis discerning. They've, they've spotted that. I agree with them. Be and would you, would you take it on board? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very good. Um, your Twitter and your Facebook is brilliant. <laughs> I know you're not doing it yourselves, but to it's do, brilliant. Of Facebook course. Ourselves. But, yeah. The Twitter Facebook. thing I'm, I don't fully understand. Right. We have somebody on the ball keeping that moving. I tell you, you fairly well do. I mean, it's great that when people talk about you, somebody from your from from the group gets back to them. Yeah, it's, yeah. it is no, it's brilliant. Right. Avian, Avian, the drummer, now is good at the Twitter. Not I, I'm good. not, but I, I do the Facebook page. But I see your iPhone in your pocket. Did yeah. you ever get it free? Um, well, I had the oldest Nokia in the world for until about six months ago, and I had to change, so I made the big leap for mankind into the iPhone world. Right. And, you know, you, you don't go back once you... That suits you, though. Yeah. Uh, tours coming up. I know you're playing Temple House this weekend. What's, what's next for the Zod Doctors? We've had lovely gigs coming up. Yeah. We have the Olympia uh, on the 25th, Cork, um, what do you call it? 25th, the 24th. Yeah. Yeah. We're down in Waterford. I've been there for ages. Yeah, we love Waterford. I always like Waterford. And we have the obviously the Sligo thing coming up. We have the album coming out, and then we always do a tour from the end of November up until Christmas. 
pronounce it? In the, the UK. In the UK, so that'll be like... The length and breadth of the country doing amazing venues, like the Glasgow Barrowland, the Manchester Apollo, Shepherd's Bush Empire, Leeds Academy, unbelievable places. Very privileged to play in those places. If there's one thing the people who are watching this can do for you, what is it? Buy the album? <laughs> well, I hope they enjoy it and, right. and just kind of uh, listen to it with an open mind. Leave I used to love her behind you for a few minutes and just listen to the... See what you think of these, you know what I mean? Give them a chance. Yeah. You know, I would think, like, something like that. These are our right. new children. We're yeah. sending them on to school in September. Yeah. We're, we're still here after 20 years. We're hoping to get on well in the world. <laughs> I forgot to buy uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> That's Davy and Leo from the Saw Doctor's Lab. Thanks for talking to us. No problem, problem there, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Stay.